Hello and welcome to this little CCB video blog. Now today I'm actually going to be going over my rod and reel arsenal. I've had quite a few people ask me this a lot of times when I'm live and everything else. They're like, oh, you should do a rod and reel arsenal, a rod and reel arsenal. So, hey, it's all for my viewers, so I'm going to do one. I really didn't think I had that many rods because I don't usually bring that many with me when I'm doing my shows. But well, I kind of have it split up into two different categories for me. I sort of have my general rods, and then I have my specific rods. Now my general rods, those are sort of the multi-purpose rods. Those are the ones you see that I bring on most of my fishing shows and that. And then over here, the specific rods, a lot of these are ones that I take with me when I do the tournaments, when I do the FLW as a co-angler and that. Rods that are pretty much specifically set up just for one bait and I kind of just use them for that one bait. And the generals are just sort of usually the same sort of baits, but I can switch up a lot of baits on them because I don't like to carry a lot of baits with me when I'm walking around shore or <laughs> when I'm with Chris in a small little boat and that, it's not like I want to have 20 freaking rods with me. So uh, yeah, I have kind of general and specific. So uh, first off, I'm going to start with pretty much uh, the general rods that I have and well let's start with this one because this is one that most people don't think I have and that is actually a spinning rod <laughs> this thing is an old Shakespeare it's only two bearing uh, this is an old Shakespeare reel it was like a combo set up for you know like six to ten pound line I think the combo was only like 15 bucks uh, <laughs> I pretty much only use this thing when I fish for catfish or carp for the most part and if you've watched my lives or some of my fishing shows when I'm going for catfish or carp this is actually the rod I use it's, it's <laughs> yeah it's a graphite rod it's a 6.6 six. it's a it's a cheaper reel I've had this thing probably for like 10 years it's actually weighs like 25 pounds but I don't know, for me, that's just something to do for fun. I like to play them with a light line, only a six pound line on it. And well, yes, I do actually own a spinning reel. And uh, it's, it's not a high tech one. It's, it's pretty low budget, but uh, that's my first general rod. And now, all right, let's go to, uh, I don't know. I don't have these actually set up too well. All right, now let's go to uh, what I use when I'm at the ocean, either on the beach for the surf perch, the striper, or at the pier going for the rockfish. Just a regular, I don't have an ocean rod. This is just a regular seven foot medium. It's, a, it's the older version of the tourney special. It's got stainless steel inserts. I got this old Bass Pro Shops Express reel on it. I like these reels because they're they're pretty much deep spool. They hold a lot of line. Uh, I can't even tell uh, <laughs> which one this is anymore as far as the gear ratio. I think both of these are, are 6.3 to 1. Uh, I use usually, when I'm at the pier, I use 20 pound line on these. I have, uh, well, the, Let's just, well, let's stick with this one. This is a seven foot medium. It's the IM7 graphite, uh, eight to 17 pound. I mean, it's very lightweight. And uh, I don't know, I said I just use it for playing around with, usually this one at the pier uh, for the rockfish. And I also use this one, which again has pretty much the same old Bass Pro Shops Express reel on it deep spool 20 pound line i usually use 12 pound leader on it uh, this is actually a abu garcia vigilante uh, it was a seven foot but i broke the tip off <laughs> so now it's like a six eight i just kind of uh, clipped it all at that it broke right before the i think second eye or something and i super glued it and everything but just for messing around with the rockfish, it still works. It's got the longer handle. It's a, it's a graphite rod. I said these, these two rods, these first three rods are just, it's just for me playing around. I'm not really an ocean guy. I just like to go there and go live for you guys and stuff. So these are the uh, older rods and reels that I have set up for it. 
you don't really need anything fancy, or at least I don't think you do, because I said it's, it's not my main thing. I'm just playing around. So, uh, okay, that's sort of it for the first uh, general rods. This is turning into a nightmare here. Those are my first general rods that I use. I said those are something I don't do often, either carp, catfish for the spinning reel, or playing around with the pier for the rockfish and stuff, or even when I go out with uh, my friend Ash and his boat in the ocean, I just use those. They work, I catch plenty of fish on them. I said it's not really my focus. And uh, yeah, so that's those. Now I will go into my, uh, pretty much my general rods I use that you see mostly with me when I'm doing my fishing shows when I'm from shore. And the first one is this, it's the uh, six foot six medium action uh, Bass Pro Shops tourney special. And I have this hooked up with my Abu Garcia Aura SX. And another thing is, I'm more, uh, I'm more expensive, real cheaper rod kind of guy. I don't usually have a really expensive rod and a really expensive reel. I'd rather pay me more money for the rod, the reel, and have a rod that is still good quality and works for me, but is usually a cheaper or less expensive rod than the reel. But you can see, <laughs> you can see that right there. These things are abused. These things are used. I love the Abel Garcia. This is actually discontinued pretty much just like I'm sure those, uh, well, I know the, those two Bass Pro Shop Express reels are actually discontinued. But this one is discontinued. It's uh, now the uh, Revo SX, I think. Still $99.99. Uh, this one is, they're both eight bearing, and I actually don't know. One of them is a 6.4, and one of them is a 7.1. Not really sure, because it's, it's worn off, because I use them so much, which one is actually which. <laughs> but I said it's eight bearing. I love these things, the Aura SX, now it's the Revo SX. Aluminum frame, and oh, oh well, all but one of these, that I'm going to be telling you aluminum frame. I always tell people only buy aluminum frame. Get rid of the graphite crap. Uh, but yeah, this thing, it's only 7.3 ounce, really lightweight. I said, I, 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 can't, I can't really tell which one's a 7.1 and which one's a 6.4. But this one I pretty much use for my finesse jigs. I use it for the drop shot. I use it for the Ned rig. Sometimes I, if I do the high speed cranking with a square bill on that, I will put on this one. Uh, sometimes maybe an underspin quarter you know something lighter because it is it's medium oh and uh, that's another thing with this one these things come with uh, stainless steel inserts either I catch a lot of big fish or the stainless steel is soft because it got grooves in the tip so what I did was replace the tip with a, uh, a ceramic insert I think it's a Fuji tip the rest of them are fine it's just you get a lot of the pressure and everything else on the tip and it was it was grooving it and it was sandpapering my line and giving it nicks and cuts so these are great rods They're only 49.99 the, the uh, turdy special really sensitive good action they, they don't come in a lot of different varieties i think it's only like six and a half and seven foot medium and medium heavy but they're great but you just got to replace that that tip there Okay, so that's the first general bass arsenal combo. And here's the, uh, all right, yeah, this, is getting, this is getting complicated here. All right. Ah! Okay, here's my second sort of general purpose rod. And it has the same RSX uh, on that one. Like I said, I don't know which one this is. It doesn't say on it whether it's, oh, this is a 7.1. It's on, it's on the bottom. You can barely read the HS, which is high speed. So this is a 7 to 1, that is a 6 4 to 1. Uh, but this rod, I've, I've done a review on this and told people it's $18.95 at Walmart. It's the Shakespeare Excursion, it's graphite, it's got the shorter cork handle, uh, it's got the stainless steel inserts. But the funny thing is, for $18.95, these stainless steel inserts are actually better than the stainless steel inserts on the uh, Tourney Special. These aren't getting the grooves in them, the tip doesn't have the grooves in it, it's still fine. But these are great. I mean, they only come in a 6.6 six, six medium, 6.6 six, six medium heavy, and I think a 7-foot medium. I think 
they don't have many options in this. But obviously I use this for my flicking. Uh, sometimes I'll use this for my quarter ounce jigs. Uh, I use this for the smaller spook. Uh, I use it for the spinner bait, the quarter ounce spinner bait, single blade I throw. Um, sometimes if I want to keep like the drop shot on this one, I will throw the underspin on this one. Or if that one, like I said, I want to keep it hooked up with something, I might throw the little square bill crank bait or jerk bait, something like that. I will throw on this rod. I said general. These are general. I only like to carry three, so I want to be multi-purpose. Those are both six and a half. And then my last general, which is down here on the bottom, uh, is actually the Formula Bass Pro Shops Formula Combo. It's got the RT3 graphite. Uh, I said those. Uh, this has the R2 graphite, the uh, Tourney Special, but they're all, all minor graphite. Oh, except for the spinning reel. That's actually just a cheap fiberglass one. But yeah, I did a review on this one too. It's got a tan bearing uh reel on it uh, i think it's six three to one is the gear ratio obviously i use it for the big spook this is a medium heavy but it's more like a it's more like a heavy than a medium heavy to me it's got a really stiff tip that's why i like to throw this oh my <laughs> my trunk's coming down on me that's why I throw the big spook on it I throw the quarter ounce jigs on it I throw the three eighths ounce jigs on it I throw the the bobblehead with the tube or the craw. Most of anything I'm throwing that's on the bottom or heavier. Like, I mean, this is top water, but still, it's, it's a heavy bait. It's like three quarters of an ounce. I throw those things on this uh, formula combo. I said it's a, it's a six six. It's medium heavy, but to me, it's more like a heavy. As I said, this this tip is actually <laughs> really really stiff. But yeah, that's. Uh, my last general rod and reel combo that I have. I said that's why, because I, I don't like to carry, when I'm on shore, a lot of baits with me. So I have these general ones that I can throw a lot of different baits and the action and everything else. Oh, and, and uh, <laughs> sorry, 12 pound line on all these. All these have 12 pound mono. I only use mono. Uh, these are, this is big game that I use on these is pretty much comparable to the uh, Berkeley XT, Trilene XT, or I use uh, Strain High Impact, which is pretty much the same as the Strain Original. But usually 12 pound on these general ones, the, my general rods, like I said, the Ocean ones is 20 to usually a 12 pound liter, and the spinning one, <laughs> six pound, just because I love to go really light when I'm fishing for catfish and carp. But yeah, okay, that's, so that's it. For my rod and reel arsenal for my general pretty much everyday use reels when i don't know what i'm going to be getting into because i go to these lakes i don't know what kind of bite they're on and so these are the best for high pressured lakes and the places i fish so this is the general arsenal i have and i said those are all six six foot rods except for the ocean ones those are seven but then you get over here and i have specific rods that i pretty much will only use and hook up for one certain style and one certain bait. And I said, these are the ones I usually take with me to the tournaments. I'll usually take like one general rod or two general rod, and then I'll take the specific rod. So uh, let's just get into the specific rods. Okay, this is another, this is six foot six. This is a Vigilante. It's a medium. It has like a really nice whippy flimsy tip uh, I actually have this is a team Daiwa uh, this is one that was made specifically for Bass Pro Shops it's got 12 bearings uh, yeah like those are well those were 8 and 10 but it has 12 bearings because usually when you're hyping cranking and you're you're reeling so fast and everything and when those fish hit it it's such an impact and everything more bearings the better it won't get knocked out of line and everything else from the impact so I, that's why I got this. It's at seven one to one. It's thirty two inches a reel handle because uh, I'm getting older and it works on my shoulder and my wrist. So I want something that's super fast that I don't have to fat speed crank as hard as I can to get it to go through the water at a really fast clip. 
since it's for my you know high speed cranking and my little cranks and me, no that's pretty much all i use this one for <laughs> is the high speed cranking you want that really whippy tip because you're you're hauling that thing in and when they hit it uh you want that sponge really quick and then some backbone behind it because we are moving it so fast and so in order not to rip it out of their mouth when they hit that you want a really nice soft whippy tip plus the fact it's six six there's more accuracy and with that whippiness and most of the high speed cranks that i throw are only like quarter ounce maybe three eighths it whips them it can throw i can throw them really far it's really accurate and then i get the benefit of the really soft tip for the hook set and better hook ratio but yeah like i said uh team diwa i don't think they make this anymore but 12 bearings 7 1 32 inches of reel handle it's like super super fast and uh that's my first specific rod the vigilante and here is and this is one that most people are gonna be like what no way but yeah this is actually my uh my flipping rod I know most people flipping it in seven six eight foot nope this is a six six this is a vengeance abu garcia vengeance it's a medium heavy it's quarter to one ounce 10 to 20 pound um this one again only mono oh yeah i forgot to tell you the the line on this 12 pound same 12 pound mono uh, i used to use 10 but with that high speed and, and the 10 getting little nicks in that, I would break off a lot of fish on the hook set, so I had to go to 12. But again, all mono, guys. That's all I use is mono. And again, this one mono, yeah, but I use 17 pound when I flip. And this has the reel that I told you guys sucks and never get, and that is the Abu Garcia Silver Max. And it's a piece of crap. I, I need to upgrade the... Uh, I don't even want to talk about this reel, but it has the flip and switch, but the, it just... It's, but I actually do the actual flipping, like with, like this. I don't do the pitching and other things that people call flipping. I, I actually lift it up and put it in and lift it up and put it in. I'm usually fishing vertical cover, not horizontal, like standing up reeds and standing up trees and everything. And I'm usually really close to shore. So I just find it's a lot easier to manipulate it and get my, my bait in shorter in, in little places and little exact little spots in that using something that's only a 6.6 six. because if I get a 7 and I'm in close and I try to do this and suddenly I'm hitting and so it's very specific but yeah this is what I use actually for flipping is this uh this Vengeance Abu Garcia I guess it's the 24 ton graphite which is the same as uh the last one I showed you the Vigilante is actually uh 24 ton graphite I don't know. Yeah, 24. They're both 24. But yeah, that, that, this is the oddball out, I would say, for most people. The fact that I'm using a 6'6 six six for flipping. But like I said, don't even, don't even you know, blank the silver max out of your mind because I'm eventually going to have to go to a, like a $100 nice reel that's got a flipping switch because this thing doesn't even work. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay. Here's another specific rod. This is actually a seven foot medium vigilante, the Abu Garcia. And this one actually has one of the older extreme Bass Pro Shops extreme reels on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a six three to one. And again, 12 pound mono on it. And basically I use this thing for our quarter ounce spinnerbait. When I'm throwing a spinnerbait, uh, sometimes I will actually throw the underspin on it. Uh, every once in a while, maybe I will throw the uh, uh, jerk bait on this. But for the most part, it's usually set up with a quarter ounce single blade spinner bait. Uh, is what I specifically throw on this thing. With the 12 pound line and the old extreme reel, six three to one. I think these are both all these all the extremes. I think are seven bearing. Uh, aluminum frame i said all these except for that one that i don't want you to remember i have is graphite it's probably why it's such a piece of crap but <laughs> yeah that's another specific one this is my basically my spinnerbait spinner bait rod and then i have well i've showed you this one i just did this one when i was talking about rod length uh but this is the uh bionic blade seven foot medium 
I have actually the Bass Pro Shops Pro Qualifier on here. Uh, $80 reel. Oh yeah, and the other one, yeah, those extremes were, those were 80 bucks at the time too. Uh, oh, and I think, I forgot to say, but the Daiwa one, that was like 120 bucks. I think it's the most expensive uh, reel I actually have. But yeah, this one, I told you this one I would use for, well, bigger swim baits, uh, deep diving cranks. What else do I throw on this? Uh, sometimes dragging heavier football jigs, like three eighths, half ounce, quarter ounce, deeper water. Uh, I will throw bigger spinner baits, like three eighths and half ounce spinner baits on this combo. And I said, this is, yeah, it's the, the pro qualifier. This is the, the original version. Now they've come out with a second version. Amazing reels, guys. If you ever want to get an $80 rod that you'll probably have for freaking ever, the Pro Qualifier. Uh, it might be called the Pro Qualifier 2 now. I don't know, but it's a uh, seven bearing. This is, like I said, I think this is, oh, it says high speed, but I think this is a 6.3 to But yeah, that's another specific combo for me. If I do hook this thing up, it'll usually just be either a bigger spinner bait or a deep diving crank or a bigger spinner bait. Uh, I'll use Whoa wind is too strong out here hopefully it's not too strong i have my lapel mic on but yeah that's uh, another specific rod for me like i said this is the seven foot and i have one more for you one more specific rod and reel combo uh this is the actual formula i got it as a combo but i gave away the reel but this is a seven foot medium it's got a eh, it's not really a flimsy flimsy tip it's got a little bit of stiffness to it and I actually have the Pro Qualifier on this. Uh, and this reel is like, I think my oldest, well, one of my oldest. This thing's been around for like eight years or something. But this is actually my buzz bait rod. And it's pretty much all I ever throw. I, I think it's all I've ever thrown on this combination here is uh, a buzz bait. Usually a, a 3 8 ounce buzz bait. And I said, this is the Pro Qualifier. It's gonna be the odd one for you. It's the power crank, but I don't use it for cranking. I use it for the buzz bait. It's actually four, three to one, only 19 inches of reel handle. And that's what I like, because when you throw the buzz baits, they have a lot of resistance. I like to slow roll them, just barely keep them on top, and I twitch them. That's why this medium rod has a little bit of a stiffer tip on it. I should have got the 21 inch instead of the 19, because <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, I found the, the, the 21 would probably be best, but this. All right, guys, it's kind of choppy with this last one, the buzzbait one, because evidently, evidently my uh, batteries are going out and I, I kind of lost the audio towards the end. But uh, just real quick, cause I said this last one's going to be kind of choppy because I got to end this really quick. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't have any more batteries to switch out. But when I use the topwater, I use 17 pound mono. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully this chops together and you can know about my buzzbait rod. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for my rod and reel arsenal. Sorry, I have to cut it short, but uh, hopefully this audio will work because I'm just gonna do it really quick. But yeah, general, specific, you guys were asking for it. Uh, I hope this helps. And uh, well, uh, that's gonna do it for this little CCB video blog. Please join us for our next one, our tips and tricks, our biology buys, our fishing shows, and join us live. All right, hopefully the audio works on this one, guys. And that's going to end this because my other ending has no audio. <laughs> ah!